welcome to the MOOC course on design of uh, power electronic converters. Uh, we had started with the module on snubber design and uh, last lecture um, I gave you an introduction to um, snubbers, what is the need of snubbers and uh, what are the commonly used uh, snubbers. So, in that um, uh, we saw that your RC snubbers and RCD snubbers are very widely used on off snubbers. So, uh, let us uh, start analyzing RC snubbers in this lecture. To analyze RC snubbers, um, I have taken this uh, circuit. So, what uh, it basically is that, uh, that we are using this uh, uh, snubber design you know, for uh, this diode. So, in a circuit uh, you ha will have the diode uh, connected and it may be connected to any part and there whatever the uh, diode the voltage it is supposed to block that is your E and across the diode you will be connecting this RC and then uh, it is close enough so that uh, we do not have to take into account any parasitic inductance here. But uh, over here uh, for this connection you will have this uh, parasitic inductance LP which is uh, what uh, we are taking this LP parasitic inductance uh, in between the connection of the diode and the rest of the circuit ok. And here this is your rest of the circuit connection E, e that is uh, uh, getting formed over here. So, uh, what we have is uh, this uh, RS and CS are those number resistances and capacitances and LP is the parasitic uh, inductance and over here this diode whatever current uh, it is going to carry we are representing it by ID. Now, note down the direction of the current, it, the positive direction of current is taken as uh, uh, opposite to the direction in which the diode conducts. And then um, you have this voltage across the device which is your uh, represented denoted here by small e and the current that flows through the snubber and to through this loop is this current I. And then this is the voltage uh, capital E is what the uh, diode is supposed to block and we are discussing uh, the turn off process. So, the waveforms that will be associated over here is that when the turn off process begins, it is over here uh, your first of all there is no change in the current, uh, device current uh, for some time and the device voltage also. So, this is your uh, turn on voltage which is going to be negative because uh, we the, the positive polarity that we have taken is opposite to uh, the direction in which the diode conducts. Then after that uh, the device current starts to reduce and it crosses and it reaches to the uh, reverse uh, recovery current value IRR. And uh, during this process uh, the, or the voltage does not build up and then uh, uh, what happens is that while this uh, current has reached and uh, built to certain extent of the reverse recovery current, that is uh, when your uh, uh, you can assume the device to be blocking that means it has turned off because now is when the device voltage will start to build up. So, this is the point which we are considering as the time 0 ok. And then further what happens is that over here the snubber takes over and the current then starts to flow through the snubber. So, at this point your IRR current which was uh, flowing through this uh, diode and this is of course in the opposite direction because this is the reverse recovery current. Now, the reverse recovery current starts to flow through this RS and CS through the snubber. And so, here you can say this is the starting current and there is no voltage across the capacitor at that time. Though. So, the initial voltage across the capacitor is 0 
because this is t equal to 0 what we are considering. When we assume the device to be almost off, the diode to be almost off and the snubber to be taking over. And then what happens is that so at uh, your voltage tends to build up, but over here the initial voltage that will be appearing across the device at that time will be equal to Rs multiplied by IRR because this is the initial current. And then it builds up and you have this RLC circuit, so you may have this kind of a, a transient and this is the transient in your um, uh, snubber current. So, this is an RLC circuit, series RLC circuit. So, this will be the nature of the current. You may have some ringing in the current okay, or depending on what is the nature, it is over damped, critically damped or under damped, uh, this shape may be somewhat different. So, finally, the snubber current is supposed to go down to 0. And during the time the voltage uh, ringing may be there, it may increase to certain extent and then it will further reduce and go to the blocking voltage what the device is supposed to block uh, that is your capital denoted by capital E over here. And whatever the peak that it reaches uh, this uh, voltage ET the device voltage that we have denoted here by E1. So, uh, this is the waveform that you have to keep in mind while we do the analysis and uh, we go through the derivations associated with this RLC circuit for snubber design. And also one thing that I forgot to mention here is this time T1. So, time T1 is the time that uh, the device voltage takes to reach to this peak value of E1. So, this uh, different terms uh, which are important for you to remember is this E1 the peak voltage in this time T1 and then that this initial voltage is RSIRR and the voltage across this VCS 0 at time 0 is equal to 0. And uh, further what is the initial current uh, this initial current I0 equal to IRR. And we do the snubber uh, analysis by analyzing this RLC circuit and so this I solution we can get the of this IT this number current and from there we can obtain this device voltage ET. To analyze this uh, RC circuit we will apply KVL. So here if you apply KVL in this uh, part. So, you will uh, what you will be getting is uh, LP di by dt RSIT plus uh, integral of uh, this and then the, this is your uh, initial voltage uh, VCS 0 that will be there. So, you will be having this uh, 0 over here VCS 0 which is uh, equal to this voltage E. And then uh, but the next uh, equation that you can write is your uh, small e this voltage across the device this is equal to capital E minus this LP di by dt. And uh, these are the initial conditions of uh, which we had seen your voltage VCS uh, equal to 0 and I0 equal to IRR and E0 will be equal to RSIRR the voltage across the device um, at t equal to 0 what we have taken as t equal to 0. So, uh, now we um, had to further solve these equations. So, what um, uh, you can uh, do is you can differentiate it uh, differentiate the first equation. So, uh, you will be obtaining like this uh, LP d 2 i t by d t square plus R s d i t by d t plus uh, i t by c s equal to 0. And then you take the Laplace transform of it and uh, then so we can rearrange and this is what we will be getting. And uh, you know that uh, this is having uh, two roots this is a quadratic equation and those two roots are your s 1 and s 2 which is this is what you will be 
getting it as ok. One will be your plus and another will be your minus uh, root. So, this uh, root first one can be written as minus alpha plus root over of alpha square minus omega 0 square and what is your alpha? Alpha is R s by 2 L p and your omega 0 this is the natural frequency this is given by 1 by root over of L p c s. And uh, we define damping ratio for R L c circuit which is your zeta which is equal to alpha by omega 0. So, now depending on uh, the relative values of alpha square and omega 0 square, you zeta can be less than 1, greater than 1 or equal to 1 and depending on this you know that these roots can be real, complex or they can be equal. And so, the solution of uh, this uh, differential equation um, you might uh, be knowing the solution is given as this i t equal to a 1 e power of s 1 t plus a 2 e power of s 2 t. So, depending on these values as I told you alpha greater than omega 0 equal to omega 0 or less than omega 0 you have uh, these 3 zeta greater than 1, zeta greater than 1 means what? this is uh, uh, real both of these two roots are real and so you have both roots re, uh, real and over damped case. Next uh, is when both the roots will be equal that means alpha equal to omega 0. So, if you have alpha equal to omega 0, so this uh, square root part gets uh, eliminated and both the roots are equal and so we will be having equal roots and critically damped case. And then uh, third one will be what uh, when uh, you will be having this alpha less than omega 0 that means zeta damping ratio is less than 1 and in that case you will be getting complex roots and uh, complex roots because the square root part is going to become negative. So, complex roots and that is your under damped case in RLC circuit. So, uh, these are the three cases which we have to analyze one by one to analyze the RC circuit and uh, this is what we will be looking next the three different cases for RC's number analysis. Thank you. Mm -hmm.